Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat Adonai. Welcome to the Six Excellence Program. Um, this is uh, part two of There Is No Trinity. I want to say that um, some things the Catholic Church say and how we believe those things it don't make no sense at all. You know, there's a scripture that says that Christ to be the firstborn of all humanity is just as crazy as crazy as it can be. Listen, listen to me. Um, how can Christ be the firstborn when he is already eternal? God is eternal. It was God who was manifested in the flesh. He cannot be the firstborn of the brethren. This is Romans 8 and 29. He cannot be the firstborn of, of man. He is already eternal. How can something eternal be the firstborn of man? He is already eternal. He's already had eternal life. He don't need to have to be firstborn of mankind. Catholic Church, I tell you. Uh, another thing is the baptism. The baptism of the Holy Spirit. He did not receive the Holy Spirit. He is the Holy Spirit. He is the Father. The Father is eternal. He is a spirit. He the one who created angels. How can he be born of the spirit when he is a spirit already? He created spirits. He created the whole mass universe, including all the angels. How could you interpret that Christ? Oh, he is eternal. God is eternal people. He is a spirit. He is almighty. He is all powerful. He did not receive the Holy Spirit. Now, why was he baptized? There was no need for him to be baptized. He did it for us. He was baptized because the Bible said that he would be our perfect example. And that's what he was. He was our perfect example. He taught us. He came and showed us what to do so that we would know what to do today. In the year 2016. To be our witness for us. That we will love our enemies. The, the Russians. The Khazarians. The Jewish people who are in our country right now today. Because he wants us to be perfect. And be priests of God unto him. He came back for us to be a witness. To be our example. To tell us what to do. And show us what to do. He want us to get the message. And I'm wondering, are you getting the message? Are you understanding the same thing I understand? Do you know the same things I know? I'm thinking that the Jewish people are too busy yelling at Gentiles on the street corners. And it's not praying and seeking God. And the Jewish people, Hebrews, black Hebrew Israelites need to be keeping the covenant. And praying and seeking God's face every day, day and night. And not going on the street corners arguing with Gentiles because their ears are stopped up. Their ears are not going to be open until God opened their ears. They're not going to see until God wants them to see. Their ears are stopped up just like all the other Hebrews. Why do you think all these big mega churches have all their churches full of people? They're not going there to worship God because they are Hebrews. They don't know God is a Hebrew. They don't know. So they're blind. And God has stopped their eyes and their ears can they hear. So you don't. What you're doing is an act of futility. You cannot open their eyes. You cannot proselytize and make people Jews. You have to be born a Jew. The people who they are is who they are. They can have the understanding. But they cannot become a Jew. And so by you going on the street corner telling them that they are wrong, 
Only thing you're doing is making them angry and you are not helping. And I'm not being angry or chewing you out, brothers. I'm just wondering why you cannot see what I cannot see, what I what I'm seeing, why you cannot see it. And I I desire that we speak the same thing. And you can say to me, am I telling the truth? Or am I not telling the truth? You can write to me. Or you can tell God on me. You can say to God, this man is telling people that there is no there is no such person as um, as a trinity. Because there is no trinity. Because the person Jesus is only an idol made from a stalk of a tree. The picture is made out of wood. They are worshiping idols. And the idols they have made to look like themselves. Don't you not know that the idols that they have made, they made their idols to look just like them. And their idol is also lawlessness. That their idols allows them to do everything. And there are never no convictions. There are no laws to stop them from their, from their lewdness, their covetousness, their idolatry. The idols allow them to do everything. They don't have to stop doing sin. They can sleep with other people's wives. They don't have to keep the laws. They live by grace. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to do any laws. They don't have to keep no laws. Nothing. They do whatever they want. And they're, and they're going to heaven. That is some of the most craziest religion I have ever heard of yet people believe this and they're having itching ears just like the Bible saying itching ears believing and hearing what they want to say here seducing spirits and that's what the whole world has become to seducing spirits oh Lord how Lord how you will bring these people back to you the Christians, the Jews, the Jewish people, Islamic, who are going to Mecca and worshiping idols in Mecca. They have made their own idol out of a man named Muhammad. God is a spirit. You do not go to Mecca to worship God in Mecca. God is a spirit. Those that worship God will worship Him in spirit and truth. Just as like saying to me, go to this place, God is there, you go to worship Him there. This is something that is done out of hatred. But you cannot go to Mecca to worship God. Not the God of the Hebrews. That's why you have made your own gods. And you go to Mecca and you worship God your God well God of the Hebrews is every place so the Jewish people the Muslims Islamic all of you are worshiping idols the whole world has gone crazy over idols the Christians they worship their own idols they are made with their own hands the stock of a tree and they dress it up and make make it out of gold make it out of silver and they have the idols the cross they paint it gold paint it in silver they hang pictures in their houses they bring idols inside their houses they worship them they have their symbols that they believe in their crosses that they make they make oath to their idols. They pray to their idols and they call upon their idols. And they pray to their idols continuously. They sing praises to their idols. And they dress up and go to their idols and wear jewelry. They paint their faces, wear jewelry, and wear fine clothes. And go to worship their idols in their own idol demonic temples. And they think they are worshiping God when God told them not to do no such thing. 
And then you got the Jewish people who's supposed to be setting up a, a standard because God had driven out the the black Hebrews for worshiping idols. They have done worse than the black Hebrews. They worship bones, bring their bones of their ancestors out, and they worship them. And they have their star God that they praise, and they worship, and they worship the host of heaven, and their star gods. And they worship the bones of their ancestors. And they have caused other religions. They don't even keep the Sabbath. And they practice sexual immorality. They have gay gay day in Israel. They have done more sins, more atrocities than the black Hebrews when they were there. So you know your severe punishment is going to be severe Jewish people. Because God brought you in there to hold up a standard. And you did no better. In fact, you're doing worse than the black Hebrews that God drove out for worshiping idols. So the whole world is going to be judged. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go off on like that. I'm supposed to be talking about. What am I supposed to be talking about? Oh, yeah. The Trinity is a made up doctrine. There is no Trinitarian doctrine. The baptism formula. God is already holy. God is already holiness. He is pure. He does not need to be. He don't need to be saved or need to be receiving the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. He is a spirit. He is holy. So why the devil got you believing all these stupid things? And another thing is that God is. Uh, God does not need to pray. Well, why did he pray? He was praying for us. He was teaching us how to pray. He does not need to pray. He never needed to pray. God does not have any sins. Oh, the Catholic Church has made you believe all these crazy things. And you believe them. Listen, people. There is no trinity. God is, is God. God is God Almighty. He is one. It was he who was robed in flesh. It was he who had became dark propitiation. It was he who would die for our sin. It was he who had robed himself in flesh. It's the same God in the Old Testament. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's the same God who robed himself in flesh. He is the Yeshua Yamashia. He is God Almighty. But the Catholic Church have you worshiping idols. Have you worshiping Jesus and St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day. Worshiping all these idols. And this, they, they are trying to take you to hell. They have purposely taken you to hell. In fact, I want to tell you something. That you should know that they have set America up. They have you have been set up by the Jewish people and the British that God would destroy you. Let me tell you what they have done to you. They have brought Hebrews here, black Hebrews from West Africa in the 1600s. Now, let me tell you something. You listen to me good. They have brought the Hebrews here and they have left them here. So that God will destroy you. And they are planning to take over this country which is called America. And you have been suckered and played all these years. The Jewish people and the British have made you a sucker. They have made you fight wars. Every war that you have fought, they made you fight them. And you say, yeah, they are our allies you say, oh, they are our buddies. Oh, they are our friends. And they have suckered and placed you into every war. And they are ultimately, they're planning on killing you. Because they will expect God to kill all the Americans. Because you are left here with all the Hebrews. And they want, because they know God destroys every nation. And they, and the Jewish people 
are expecting that they can keep Israel and Great Britain will have this country and have all its resources and you will be wiped off the face of the earth along with all the black people for all their sins. I'm telling you, you think I'm lying. I'm telling you, you better check out your resources and start praying. Do you have any intelligent people in Washington, D.C.? Are there any, are they all buffooneries or what? Don't you not know that Jewish people and the British have set you up here and left all these black Hebrews here in this country that they will destroy, God will destroy the Americas and that he will take the Hebrews, he will kill all the black people because they have not been keeping his laws and that the Great Britain and uh, the Jewish people are planning to have the Jewish Israel and Great Britain is having going to have America and all of your resources. They have set you up like suckers and they have been playing you like a violin for over 400 years. You cannot hear my message. I hope you hear it. Why did I go to say all that? Oh, I don't know. But I supposed to be talking about the Trinitarian doctrine and telling you that there is no Trinity. Well, I'm going to end this segment because it's getting too long. God bless you. Thank you for listening.